quite often we are dealing with a situation where we have a stock solution with a given volume and a given concentration. So that's our stock. And we want to convert that into a working solution. Working solution with a lower concentration, but obviously a higher volume. And the question is, how much water do we have to add to the stock so that we get this working solution? So in this uh, example here, we have uh, a stock solution of 128.3 uh, millimolar and we've got 10 milliliter and we want to convert it into a 48.05 uh, millimolar working solution. We need to figure out how much water we have to add uh, to get this concentration. So the easiest starting point is to uh, use our trusted C1 V1 equals C2 V2 equation and here this would be uh, everything from our stock and this one would be our working uh, solution. And uh, we have um, for our C1 uh, we have 128 point 3 millimolar times 10 milliliter equals 48.05 millimolar <coughs> times the unknown concentration. Uh, that is the total concentration, that's the total volume uh, that uh, we are dealing with uh, at the end. So uh, we just uh, rearrange this equation and we get V2 equals 128.3 millimolar times 10 milliliter divided by 48 48.05 5 millimolar and we do if we do that we get a total of 26.7 milliliter now this 26.7 this actually is the total volume in which we have then the, uh, the, the solution. So that is basically the 10 milliliter that we started with plus the unknown amount of water that we have to add and this adds up to 26.7 milliliter. So we can very easily figure out that the amount of water that we have is 26.7 minus 10 milliliter and our, our amount of water that we have to add would be 16.7 milliliter of water that we need to add to give us the 26.7 milliliter and this then would be our working solution. Working solution. I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.